Uh, Vision? Oh, I love Vision. Yeah, let's do Vision, because Vision is a character that I, I really enjoy. And I've taken him to the expert um, Red Skull. Or the expert Mutant Genesis. Not Gen the expert Sinister Motives campaign. Okay. So I gotta figure out what my goal is here. I don't think I've ever seen anyone making make a video playing Vision. Yeah, maybe I think I, I played Vision on stream with uh Joshi in a two player game, but that was a while ago. Um with the three threat. What I really like about Vision is the ability to just search out my attack events. How do I want to do this with Vision? He has pretty good thwarting. Uh, I'll start here. Because I like these cards a lot. I'll try to figure out what I'm doing after that. Okay, is there anything in these aspects that I really want to build around? I could go Dive Bomb. But then I'd have to get his cape, which, eh, I don't know. Toe to toe. Yeah, because this is going to be the hardest part of the deck build is just vision, figure out vision webware. Uh, I don't know. I really like keep up the pressure. Why don't we do an aggression deck for him? So his cape, he gets... Uh, which one gives him aerial? I can't remember. Uh, the solar gem? Okay, so it's a resource gener generator that gives him aerial. So, I think I want to build around getting, like, a big burst of damage. It could be fun to, like, collect the minions with vision in the intangible form. And then change to a uh, dense form. And then dive bomb and get all the cards. So, to do that, I need to consistently be able to get out my solar gem. So, to consistently get out my solar gem... I'd want to add um, superpower training. And since I have a player side scheme, I need to figure out a way to thwart. So how do I want to thwart with aggression? There's chase them down, which could be useful. Is there any aggression? And Psylocke ally is really good at thwarting. This is the clipped from the live. Thanks. Thanks for clipping that. Okay. So how do I... I'll probably get my thwarting from basic. Probably basic allies to get my thwarting down. Um, Because all I need is a source of one thwart. Because he has the... Uh, he has uh, two thwart already, so I just need one help. But actually, while I'm thinking about this, I want to... Uh, um, I want to grab the Android stuff. Just because it's on theme. Because I really like Reboot for him. So, also, Vivian will be able to guarantee that for me as well. Oh, sorry, can't add Vivian because that's a signature alley. But the, the Vivian, when I'm intangible, will get the three thwart. So, Vivian is going to be my way of doing that. Now, what? It's funny that you have to, like, change the chat before it undoes the, the search. Okay, so I have Vivian around. To help finish this um, superpower training. And then what do I want? So, I probably need a little bit more consistency on finishing it than just Vivian. So, I want a little bit more. Professor X could fix that problem and also allow me to flip down. Sync as lo X Men locked. Okay. So 
So Professor X, Vivian, Machine Man. These allies should be able to help me with what I'm trying to do there. So now what do I want? Now I want to get my aggression stuff going. Um, so I'm wanting to do a dive bomb build. So I'll grab two of those, and in addition to that, I'll grab keep up the pressure so I can search it when I want it. So I have dive bomb. And then I want to be able to increase the damage of the dive bomb. So to do that, I'll grab um, Hone Technique. Martial Prowess will help me with the economy. Then Warrior Skill will help me there as well. Okay. That will be really good. That's kind of my big like game ender type thing. It's going to be this dive bomb with warrior skill to increase the damage along with hone technique. So hone technique says when you pay when you play an aggression attack event, if you paid for that using a mental resource, which if I have my solar gem, it generates a wild, so I'll be able to meet that every time. Increase the amount of damage that event deals by its printed cost. So then that means that dive bomb will deal eleven damage to each enemy. Uh, to the villain, uh, to an enemy, and then five damage to each other enemy. And my warrior skill will also be able to increase that to 12 damage and six damage. But so, another thing about that though, I don't know if I, I don't particularly need warrior skill with dive bomb. But what I do really like is one of my favorite vision cards is actually density control. After you change mass farm, discard this card, add a vision event from your discard pile to your hand. So then you can add your super dense strike and your solar beam and then increase that with warrior skill. And also search them with keep up the pressure. So then warrior skill, keep up the pressure on a uh, super dense strike. And it's a two cost card that's going to deal seven, seven damage. And you'll be able to play two of them, right? Because you can search, search one with keep up the pressure and then grab the other one with density control. And then that's uh, seven damage twice. So that's 14 damage there for just four, uh, four printed cost. Or you can grab the solar beam, so that'll be fun. So I have that. So this should be enough damage. I think that'll be enough damage. So now I have to figure out. Um, I have to figure out how to make the deck like improve the. Now that I have my strategy i want to improve the consistency of the deck and improve the survivability of the deck i need to make sure i can live and i need to make sure i can thwart and yeah because the damage i have enough damage here if i do bring it i probably want to like lean into getting minions out of the deck which i'm not biggest fan of let's check what other aerial cards we get we can you can use Pitchback. After hero attacks, deal four damage to an enemy. I like that. Um, bombs away. Deal three damage to the villain, and each minion engaged with that player. Oh, okay. This makes me want to lean into it. Okay, let's tr let, let let's let's try it. So, if I'm leaning into that, I need to be able to search the minion. So, and then I could grab it into the fray. Discard cards from the top of the counter deck till you discard a minion. Okay. So I'm going to add two looking for troubles because that actually helps me thwart and do that. And then that will make bring it better. And um, it'll make both bring it better and bombs away better. I'll add one bombs away. Just because it's aerial, and I might not be able to become aerial for that long. And I'll add maybe two into the phrase. Okay, now what's my resource types looking at? I only have five mental resources. So I think I want to bump my mental resources up a bit to make the hone technique more consistent. 
so we can do mental resource one plan of attack could work hmm. pitchback always seems so good but i never find my end up using it for some reason all well, depends it pitchback is really good but it's just i didn't really want to add it here when i don't have i don't have printed aerial uh, chase them down. Could be good. Okay. I'm getting a little close here. I, I do want to buff up my economy. So I can do that with Avengers Mansion. That's also a mental. And the Quinn Carrier. That's also a mental. Okay. So this is increasing my economy. And then this... Chase them down, dive bomb, into the fray. Looking for trouble, keep up the pressure. Yeah, and then my... I have more mentals, which will be good. And once I have the Quinn Carrier, I actually don't have to worry about the mentals that much. So between Solar Gem, Quinn Carrier, and then having more mentals, I think this will be better. So I think maybe what I want to do now is just cut down a little bit on... Uh, the aerial stuff. Um, into the fray, good. Bombs away is at one. Do I even need bombs away? To exhaust the aerial character as well. Is Vivian aerial? No. Okay, I'm gonna cut, um, cut that card. Yeah, I, I want to add two more allies in. So let's figure that out first. Let's go look at allies with mental resources. Oh, Nick Fury. <laughs> Who else? War Machine? That could be fun. He's not used all that much either. Yeah, and he's also like kind of a cyborg type thing. And then Ironheart, maybe? Let's check the aggression allies too. What options are there for aerial allies? Uh, let's check. Wasp. Also, for each energy resource. I actually like that a lot. I will put Wasp in this deck. That's perfect. And she'll take the place of Ironheart. Even though Ironheart is stronger, I just want to have it more on theme. With the Avengers. Professor X. Nick Fury. Machine Man. I like that lineup. I like that lineup a lot. So now. I just want to. Since this deck is looking for specific cards. I do want to keep it at 40. So I want to get it down to the point. That's a little more. Okay. This bring it card with a lot. And it's not a mental. So I think I'll down on bring it and then what do I want to do looking for trouble uh, I'll probably keep that warrior skill isn't actually necessary here because dive bomb is the main one that I'd be keeping so I can cut that okay I like this deck list I think this deck will be fun and good Maybe I'll play it on stream. Ah, okay. Concept of steady from touching an ally makes sense. Uh, yeah. Uh, like a weaker stalwart because you're touching a weaker companion doesn't happen as much as solo. Yeah, the only uh the only thing about like the touching the ally giving steady that's a little weird is that when you see rogue touch an ally. Or even a villain or something. She absorbs their power. And if she's not like used to that person. It's like a lot for her. It's like a lot for her every time she absorbs someone's power. And sometimes she's like incapacitated. And then she doesn't want to do it either. Because she like hurts her um, friends when she does that. Hey Rishov. How's it going? 
Yeah. Uh, so what do you guys think about this um, vision build? She's got the strength of two people, hence she needs two status cards to stun her confused. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Do you guys like this deck? So I'm I'm excited to try it. I think it'll be fun. Really liked your gameplays? Oh, well, thank you. I haven't actually posted as many gameplays, like actually like isolated gameplay videos. Maybe I should keep doing that. Yeah, I think that that will be it for this deck build.